Okay, back at it again with the 2004 Acura TL. This time we're doing <clears throat> an oil change. So under the car, that's the oil pan. So the more you go in, <clears throat> you'll see this bolt. I believe that's a 15. You can see it says engine oil. I think it's a 15. It might be even smaller. So let me go check what size it is and then I'll show you guys. Okay, to my surprise, it was a 13. So, what you gotta do is remove it, make sure you're going the right way. Move the oil catch can out of the way. It's breaking loose. Hold on, guys. Okay. We broke it loose. Oh, I want to know something, you guys. Have you guys ever been able to remove the oil plug without dropping it or getting oil on your guys' selves? Let me know. Because I always drop it or get dirty. Oil. Got oil on myself. Got the bolt though. So, let this drain out and I'll come back to you guys in a sec. I like about Honda and Acuras, they always put the oil filter so close and easy to get to. So, this is on. The right side behind the passenger tire so it's right there right next to the oil pan so you'll see right there take that off make sure you have something to catch oil because it will have some in there so let me get that off and oh also remove the oil cap on top of the engine just to let more air flow and let the oil flow faster so this can go faster okay now that the oil has drained out almost all the way Want to get your oops, your new oil filter? Put that there. Get some oil and put it on this rubber seal right here, just to help it seal a little better. Some people say to put oil in this. Some don't. It's whatever you feel like doing. Pretty much, I don't put it in there. So what you want to do is put it back on screw it on now tighten it like hand tight where you can barely turn it but don't use any tools and make it hard on the next guy that has to take it off so just put it on there pretty tight remember to put your uh what's it called drain plug back in otherwise your oil will go in and will go out right away so let me do that and we'll put oil in it and I think it takes about four, 4.5 quarts. Hey, you guys, so I'm gonna put oil on this. So usually you look at your cap and it says what it recommends. So we got 5W20, We've got the good old America oil right here, Valvoline, as high mileage. Um, really don't see that it matters. It is 5W20 motor oil. And I got the synthetic blend. So it's um it calls for four point four quarts point three, but we're gonna do four. And I got motor oil additives just to make this thing purr like a kitty. And we're gonna mix that up and I'm gonna let the motor run for a week and then I'm gonna check it again. If it needs a little bit more oil, I'll add more oil. Alright, now that we added the four and a half quarts plus some um, uh, motor oil additives this thing this bad boy reduces smoke and plug fouling lessens engine oil engine noise and improves power and performance oh we're gonna hit VTEC on this oh mad power but you can see it looks full 
but like we only had like right here left and I added the rest of the oil from there into here and I'm gonna save this for later just in case you know I'm gonna check it in about three days four days check this bad boy see if it's low and needs a little bit more we'll just add that you know okay so that's it for the oil and if you liked um, the, the tutorial and the help and all that like comment and subscribe please